Welcome back everybody. Today we have a, another video from It's Complicated. Before we get started, everyone like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, analytics show that 80% of you are not subscribed. It helps out the channel. Uh, this video dropped two hours ago, so it's still fresh. Do you have more girlfriends or guy friends, and do you think that says something about you? I have more guy friends, and I, I don't know. It might be toxic. <laughs> I have a good amount of guy friends, but I feel like it always ends up with either someone liking each other or... Yeah. It always gets complicated. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Do you think men and women can be just friends? Yes. Yes. But I think... If women can be just friends with men, but men cannot be just friends with women. Well, the majority of men cannot be just friends with women because they're always going to want to have sex with their female friends. If you asked a guy that, they might say no. I hate to say it, but I think I have more guy friends too. And I don't think it's toxic. I just think girls do tend to start a lot more drama than guys. So maybe that's why girls hang out more with guys than the other way around. Girls, you can have like your tea time, your girl time. You talk about your boys, you know? Yeah. And then with guys, you can be more chill, more like flirty, more. It's just a different kind of vibe than with girls. Like, I feel like it's both different, but I'm definitely more of a girl's girl. Like, hands on, guys cheating, I'm going for the girls. Girlfriends. Girlfriends for sure. I feel like you can trust them more. Um, I'm kind of a mix because I feel like girls can be stingy, so. Why is it hard for some women to get along with other women? Competition. Attitude. Attitude. Girls are greedy, envious, jealous, so. Women are fake. Women are just haters. Women can be bitches and catty and judgmental and... All of them know that even women don't even want to hang out with women for all the reasons that they just listed. So why the hell would men want to hang out, just be friends with you? Why would they only want to be friends with you? Judge you right off the bat. Why are women called bitches for acting masculine while men are called bitches for acting feminine? Oh, that's a tough one. <clears throat> Man, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean. Why are some women proud of being bitches? <laughs> okay. It, you speak it, first. <laughs> it gets them that Louis bag, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna, it's good to be a bad bitch. Like, because no one will f*** with you. If you're too much of a submissive girl, people are gonna step on you. But if you give off the bad bitch vibe, no one's gonna f*** with you. You're gonna get respect. Know your value and always add taxes. <laughs> Period. Isn't that the female version of toxic masculinity? What the fuck? It's absolutely it the, can yep. be. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Call it what you want. What is a pick me girl and why is it considered a derogatory term? Um, the girl next to me is a Shut pick me girl. It's when <laughs> girls try to change themselves to get guys to, to look like better them. in front of guys exactly so they pretend they like football and like stuff like that when they actually don't and sometimes like they're mean to other girls like put down other girls to make themselves look better in front of guys which isn't me the pick me girl is the one that would do anything to catch a man's attention they neglect what their boundaries are and what they care about just to try to get a man to want all morals out the door me. just pick me pick me pick me no morals it was you should want to get picked as a woman most women derive happiness from a family, a husband, kids. So in the end, you should want to get picked. Who is a pick me girl? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Them e girls is a pick me, like trying to be all flirtatious, voluptuous, and all this other good stuff. She needs all, all the male guys to and like feel like okay with herself. And also, she will put her friends aside for a guy, which yeah. is a no no. So. Why are women who please men shamed by other women? Because they're jealous. I think it's. Uh, I think a lot of like women on women hate is mainly jealousy. Yeah, and like insecurity. They most likely just can't get a man, so they shame the ones that actually please a man and treat him like a king. So they have so much hate, like against the passport bros movement. Facts. A lot of women have hate against the passport bros movement, but they the same women to say they don't need a man or want a man, but they want dick. So I'm kind of confused. Is there a pick me guy? Yeah, for sure. It's a simp, a white knight, a beta male. What determines when each gender competes versus cooperates? I say more so, damn, um, the women compete, the men cooperate. I can see that. 
competes versus, versus cooperates. cooperates. <laughs> um, what is it called? Well, in other words, what are things that men do to compete for women? Um, flex. Ooh. Definitely Show flex. Off their money. Who has the most money? Try to be funny, try to be big, try to be strong, try to be loud, try to be fast. What are the things women do to compete for men? Try to be pretty, try to be loyal, promiscuous. Show the body. Who has the bigger ass? And it's me. What are the things that men do to compete for women? Um, they show off their money. Yeah, I think um, money, like going to like the gym, showing they're strong, showing that they are intelligent. I think they just put themselves out there. Whoever's yeah. the one that's going to put themselves out there the most is probably the one. What are the things that women do to compete for men? Women go after guys that are already taken. If a man is taken and a woman sees that, he is 10 times more attractive than he already was, which is so sad. It really is. Is there more of a mutual brotherhood? That makes sense, though, because it shows that that woman chose that man for a reason. So it's like a pre pre-selection thing between men or a mutual sisterhood between women sisterhood between women because you know if two women have never met but they're like drunk in the club and they vibe you know like you know it's like i got you sis you know you yeah, yeah, yeah we look out for yeah. each other whereas yeah. men just automatically want to fight each other yeah. i feel like <laughs> if it's women why is it often said women can't get along with other women wow Guys will bond so quickly. Like, you can see a guy on a street and they would be like brothers for life, like two seconds. And then girls would be like, you have to compete at first and then you can like become friends. It depends on survival mode. You know, if women are not in survival mode, then they're in competition mode. But when it comes to survival mode, women have each other's backs, I think. You know, regard, regardless if she's a stuck-up bitch, right. if she's drunk, falling out exactly. the club, and some man's trying to get her in the car, I'm yeah. going to, like, take over. A girl over. will always look out yeah. for another girl, no matter the circumstances. Even if we're fighting or whatever, I see you in trouble, like, I'm going yeah. and I'm looking out for you. Whereas I feel like men don't really do that for each other. No. Do you think it's true that men will insult each other and not mean it, while women will compliment each other and not mean it? Yes. Yeah. So would that mean that men Sex. have more genuine friendships than women? I think. The girls on Instagram be hyping them ugly hoes up all of the time. Men do have more genuine friendships. Yes, very much. Because like I said, women are haters. As soon as a woman walks off, she's going to find something wrong with her. Men are more nonchalant than girls, and girls take everything to heart. So like, if we were to be like, oh, like your shorts are a little too short or something like that, they'd be like, wow, so you think I'm a hoe? Guys will insult yeah. each other day on day, and they'll just joke about it. Girls will obviously like compliment each other and not mean it it's like the meanest thing that they could possibly say but it's in the nicest way and guys will never understand it do you think women are more judgmental than men absolutely um i don't think so i think men are more judgmental definitely i think women are very judgmental but they're very secretive about it girls just have more of a manipulative mindset and guys just kind of are like Whoop. <laughs> True. so then what advice would you give to the men who don't trust women oh well <laughs> I feel like if you don't trust your girl leave her baby <laughs> leave her this is a tough interview yeah. what is I thought this is gonna be like an easy going no, no, no. <laughs> why do women seem to have a problem when women judge other women but not so much when it comes to women judging men like I said before, women are very, very much haters. Yeah, I think everyone's pretty judgmental. Yeah. It's not gender-based. Are the things we judge people on natural or learned behavior? Learned, I think, yeah. Why do women seem to have a problem when women judge other women, but not so much when it comes to women judging men? <laughs> Damn, yeah. Wait, can you say that again? Like, why do women judge men harder than we judge women? Because women support women. That's what I mean by sisterhood. Yeah, women supporting women. Yeah. Because women are all queens. Yeah, yeah. Because we're queens, so we need to be valued with everything. And men are just Say it. men. Yep. Period. Why don't the good, decent women of the world regularly call out or shame the trash women for how they treat men? Because all men are trash and everything that's going on in this world is men's fault. Do women see the hypocrisy of other women, or is it more of a you-go-girl moment? So I feel like it's sometimes. Sometimes I can see the hypocrisy, sometimes I can't. It, it depends. Maybe if I got a little drink in me, you feel me? Do women ever see the hypocrisy in other women, or is it more of a you-go-girl moment? I'm you go-girl. Like, yeah, I feel like yeah. it is a more you-go-girl moment. 
It's definitely a you go girl moment. It's more of a you go girl moment. It's probably two out of a thousand women probably see the hypocrisy there. Everybody else is, oh, you go girl, full of shit. Do women enable each other's bad behavior and bad character? Yes. They can, for sure. I feel like girls can be bad influences, but at the same time, like, no. I see the hypocrisy. Definitely. Do women enable each other's bad behavior and bad character? Yes. Do women enable each other's bad behavior and bad yes. character? Yes, absolutely. Single women will keep women single more than any other thing out there. Why are men the only ones expected to police their own gender? Because that is what they set for themselves. I feel like in today's society, that's what men put on themselves, so that's what people are going to do. I think that there's more of a stigma for men to do it because protect women in that sense. So if, you're ha if your boy is being handsy and she's not reciprocating as positively as you know she should be, then call him out, right? Things like that. Men need policing. That's the thing because... Like I said earlier, they get away with so much because over the years, men can do so much. JFK hooking up with Monica Lewinsky. Men can get away with so much. Uh Women are the kings of bringing up random shit that has nothing to do with the conversation. Justin Timberlake, they can just get away with everything and they're never held accountable. You're naming top tier, top zero... 0.000% of men. Right? And so that's why they need policing. Whereas women, we're always told like, oh, don't hook up. You're a slut if you make out with like one person. So it's like, we're policed by society naturally, but men need their own men to police themselves. Why are women able to unite and create a standard for men, but men can't unite and create a standard for women? Because we love bitches. Girls are sensitive. So when it comes to like topics like that, they think that they're like, judging them but with guys like guys are like oh wow so like if I do this the girls will like me do you trust your man around other women yes yeah do you trust other women around your man no no if women don't even trust other women why would they expect a man to trust women thank you bro come on that's a good spin. point <laughs> that's a good point actually I just feel like women do it because they're insecure so they want to see like if the guy will leave their girlfriend yeah. for them do you trust your man around other women? No. No. Do you trust other women around your man? No. No. If women don't even trust other women, why would they expect a man to trust women? Shit, I honestly have no idea. Why do women often talk about how they secretly run the world, but then also... <laughs> women will be so quick to turn around and call a man insecure, small dick energy, all this bullshit. Complain about how they are so oppressed. That's a good one. I'm going to have to back. I feel like it's because it's a man-run world in the most part. Um, like, just, I don't know, multiple years ago, we obviously couldn't vote or anything. So now that we can, it still feels like, I don't know, the sky's lim the limit with what we can do. Because we want the world, girls. Who runs the world, girls? Um, because, I think you said this before, the worst threat is an unidentifiable threat. Does that sound like the type of behavior of somebody who can be trusted? No. No. <laughs> no. Do you think a woman would be welcomed at a woman's march if she's pro-life or has traditional values? Probably not, unfortunately. So do feminists really care about all women or just the women who agree with them? Probably the women that agree with them. I think feminists uh, more care about the separation of the household and family. And they're going to be the... Feminists do not want equality. They only want superiority, superiority when it benefits them. Because when it times to come, war in Ukraine. Where are the women? They out, hopped in the jet and gone. They not sticking around for that. The ones that end up lonely and single when they 40 and 50 and 60, when they ready to settle, when they could have had a man they spent the rest of their life with and had kids with. So is it really about women's choice? Mm, that's a good one. We would like to believe so. So is it really about women's choice? It's about... Submit to women. Submit. 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 Shout out to It's Complicated. Uh, Frida Tate's. Oh, and, and every time a woman has a different opinion than the feminists, like pro-life, or they're more conservative or whatever, or they're, they're not thotty on Instagram or anything, they're always demonized by the feminists, talking about, oh, you can't make your own decisions, or oh, you... <clears throat> Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know.